Nope, just see. It's still alive. That's, that is basically all I was doing, Bronwyn. So, yeah. Wanna, wanna wish you good luck with your newfound life. I do, I do. of your imagination couple ambient noise notes before we somewhat immersion breaking or thoroughly immersion breaking before we figure out what we're going to do at this carnival here and of course it's nighttime at the damn carnival um what do i have an actual hour three so i'm calling that 3 a.m right yeah couple things it is so damn humid and hot in my area that i have the ac on so hopefully that doesn't buzz away in the background and there are thunderstorms rolling through my area so hopefully they don't cause too much noise too many noise problems and more importantly maybe they don't cut off my power all right so Branwyn's going to go, now that she's um, no longer uh, a statue, she's going to go on her separate way, I suppose. And we have a 3 a.m. Explorer, exploration of a carnival to attend to. I think... What? Have I been oh, in this tent? Why is half my party not following me? Okay. Would my party... Is my party mesmerized by Branwyn's beauty or something? Are you guys... What's going on over here? Okay, let's try this again. Did we turn to stone? <laughs> Alright, we've hopefully broken away from Bran... Nope. We're doing something. We are doing, I think, because it's so late at night, we don't want to go. Let me try. What would you have me do? I would have you right. get out of a, your trance or whatever. No, you're just. All right, this is interesting. Apparently, my party is on carnival protest. That, uh, I suppose, can happen. Speak Let's down. see if I'm we'll walk. Right. We will walk this way. All right. We, we do have the surrounding area to explore here, I suppose. Um, I assume it's all going to be carnival tents. I don't know. Maybe not. And it is snowing, so the carnival is going on while a snowstorm is happening. Let's try this tent. Do we want to go in this tent? We do. We like this tent. Okay. What's in this tent that we like? We have a commoner. We have... All right. Everybody's sleeping. I feel like a very intrusive sleeping man. Sleeping man. Sleeping woman. Okay. We are intruding on everybody's... Why do you people live in tents? I guess because you're carnies as they say i guess all right i'm on it now we are at the eastern edge which i think i keep calling the western edge getting uh directional dyslexia here of this section of map do i want to merchant merchant and we got all kinds of merchants i think i want to test to see whether or not there's any areas to uncover if i do this there are not. We still have the Nashkel mines. That's about 
the only unexplored area we have besides whatever is remaining with the carnival. But okay, let's get back to the carnival. And I guess we're going to waste some time exploring. And of course, my party's going to get tired right about the time the sun rises and the carnival's uh, getting active. Of course it is. Sorted. Now made it down to the southern edge. Let's try a southern edge exit. And nope, nothing revealed. Okay. Right, what's this then? I think I already tried going out both the east, or sorry, the west and the north side of the map. But I'm just going to check again, yeah. No, nope, there's... Not much you're going to reveal leaving the carnival. Kind of the way things are at the carnival, I suppose. Now, will I get in trouble if I rest at the carnival? I just want to pass some time here and hopefully make sure my party... I don't even know. I never try to rest when my party's not tired. I don't even know how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a try, see if I can rest, and I won't get in trouble doing it. Alright, looks like the carnies don't get upset if you... Wait, is this guy coming over to bust our stones? No, he's just... Walking around, we've got a boy over there, we've got the Great Gazeeb. He almost sounds like the head carny with a name like that. Should we, did we, by sheer luck, choose a spot to rest where we woke up in the presence of the head carnival guy? Okay, let's, um... Talk to the great Gazeeb. I'm always ready to entertain. Hi, come well and welcome. Okay. You have stumbled upon the great Gazeeb show, starring yours truly, the great Gazeeb. Allow me to introduce the amazing Upa, world's only exploding ogre. Okay, is there more to this? No. That's it? Okay, whoa, okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we've done that to an ogre before, but... Amazing Upa, death. Death to, I guess, his death? Okay. That was... So, that's the kind of show you can only do once in your life? I don't know. We didn't pay you for that or anything, so... Uh... I guess we got a free... Are there remains we can loot? I hate to get all ghoulish about things. I think... Is there more to you? Do we need to talk to you again? For the... For the whole family. Now let's try that crowd pleaser one more time. Are you going to blow up your ogre again? You're going to blow up your ogre again. Okay. Um, something... I don't think I want to encourage that show anymore. Uh, you have a good day, Great Gazeeb. You need a new tailor. Your clothes are absolutely dreadful. Okay, your clothes are... Shiny? Why are your clothes glowing? Oh, how dreadful unposh you are. I mean, honestly, this is a carnival, not a gladiator's ring. Uh, it's... Uh, is it fabulous? Um, I don't think I want to give Lord Binky the buffoon my name just yet. What a fabulous carnival darling. Oh, you'll not get away with that. What? You mocking me? So the buffoon is just going to say what I say? Yeah, I have a feeling the buffoon is now going to ask me if I'm mocking him. Yeah. Okay, that's a really good act you've got there. 
All right, this carnival is a little different. Um, merchants. Now, I don't know that I have anything. You know, I have books. Do, could we finally find the merchant that buys books? I, oh, you know what? I got rid of most of my books, didn't I? One book. History of the North. We found a merchant that buys books here in the carnival. That would be very, that's like kind of the missing link in my, um, in my loot selling there. Finding somebody who will buy books. Thought I had more books, right? I do have, this is still the Lock of Lamiere, right? Or no, sorry. Um, <laughs> I think uh, I'm in a different game for a moment there. Karen Hale hair. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So I have one book to sell. That's, um, I wonder if I really probably should sell some of my damn scrolls that I don't use enough of. All right. Let's switch this up here and let's get armor. Back on Garen's quick inventory. Okay, so we're just, we're gonna hit the tents. It doesn't seem like there's too much outside of the you tents for us to do besides look at ogres blowing up, which is entertaining and all, but a bit time wasting. You are a merchant. Oh, you got. Okay, I thought these were books, bookshelves for a second, but they're not. They look like. Maybe like some kind of containers, pottery perhaps. An explorer of the land seeking wonders and oddities. Well, both I have. Unfortunately, I paid thrice the price for my ironwares and not a piece is saleable. Mayhaps the guard will take more notice when old swords wear and the new snap like twigs in the autumn. Nevertheless, you came here to buy. And I do have something special just for you. These potions are strange magic from a distant shore swallow of the violet and a titan's might shall possess you if ever after exceptional strength is you ever after so permanently drink down the red mix and your insights will rival elminster's whoever he is your clarity of thought indefinitely enhanced to you i offer them at a bargain price 50 gold apiece as restitution for my depleted selection they do not perform as I have promised. Your money I will courteously refund. Will you relieve my hands of the violet? Okay. Um, so it's going to be a permanent increase to my strength. I, I am, am I going to get suckered in every one of these tents? All right. I tell you what. I can risk 50 gold piece pieces once party has gained an item potion the party has lost 50 gold already you must feel stronger just <laughs> in your hand yes your packs weigh slightly upon your shoulders weigh lightly upon your shoulders will you convince me of your satisfaction by pur purchasing the red elixir i haven't tried can, can you give me a minute um Ah, uh, I'm getting, so it's a hundred gold I'm wasting here. Oh, I'm such a sucker. Your eyes grow wide with the light of knowledge. Go forth now and I will enjoy the satisfaction of future great deeds done with my assistance. Ample compensation for practically giving merchandise away. Out, everyone out. You have picked me clean. I can afford no more good deeds this day. Really? Whoa, whoa, okay, so we've got an update here. Very eager to aid me he was. My diction got curiously curious. He also mentioned a problem with his iron items being brittle for some reason. Wonders I have seen. Okay, now who did he give that to exactly? Okay, so I do. These are just going to be, they're not going to be permanent potions, I don't think. You don't, my God, I'm such a sucker. You only, your attributes are permanently enhanced by 
certain tomes, right? Not potions. Should have thought of that. All right, Garen. Um, we need to identify these potions I got suckered into buying. So let's get on that, and then we need to slap a merchant around if he lied to us. But it's not going to allow me. Duration 24 hours. Violet, it's just called a violet. Why can't Garen identify them? What's up with that? Or did he? Special resistance, all magical damage. Duration. You know, these aren't. Close examination of this. Close examination reveals this liquid to be very peculiar in nature. It could be a saucer's dream, but that would depend entirely on who you asked. After ingesting the mixture, mixture, the drinker becomes the weakest, most unwise, yet incredibly intelligent person to have ever lived with an innate 50% magical damage resistance as well. The effect remains for an entire 24 hours. So careful. So think carefully before unplugging the cork. Okay. And that's kind of the purple one. This is one of the oddest potions you've ever examined. Once drunk, this mixture causes one's muscles to immediately bulge to complete inhuman proportions. Am I going to blow up like the ogre? Titan like actually, while dexterity and constitution are both reduced essentially to that of a slug. The effect, oh great, so, so, all right, boy, dexterity. <laughs> oh, why did I get suckered into that? All right, well, there could be a situation where I have to stand in, you know, one spot for 24 hours and bludgeon people silly. So you never know. Um, let's give these to, hey, what, let's, uh, Aldoris's inventory is full. Why is his inventory? Okay. So he's got 90 bazillion potions. That's why. Let's give them to Bjorn and have Bjorn give the scrolls back to Garen. All right. That was, um, a fine waste of 100 gold pieces, but you know, I just, even the, Oh, this would be awfully rude too. We could, we could come back at night and get our hundred gold pieces back. I suppose there's that option. All right, let's get out of this tent and go get swindled at another tent. I'm on it. Lester sure is a nice carnival they put on. If only there were more people here to enjoy it. What is your favorite act? Where is everyone? Down in the mines are dead. A combination of the two more often than not. Sorry you folks are here to enjoy the carnival. I'm sorry you folks are... <laughs> it's not sorry that we're here to enjoy the carnival. He's sorry, plus we understands we're here to enjoy, enjoy the carnival. Don't let me go telling my depressing tales. Yes, well, uh, it's been nice meeting you. The mines interest us more than the carnival, to be honest. We'd like to figure out what's wrong if we can. Yes, that is true. What's right? That place has been claiming lives, hand over fist, but where else can we work? find work? It's either death by the demons or death by the dinner plate. And us Nashkel folk aren't the type to let our family starve. I'd register with the garrison, with the, but with this bum leg, I ain't no good at fighting. Just pushing the old barrow, oh, the or barrow, sorry. That's all. All right, so Lester's having a... Tough life, but I think he's going to be okay, I think. Uh, is this a merchant's tent as well? On, will you? Nothing for you here. Okay, this is the um, rude merchant. You there, stay back. If any of you come any closer, I'll kill her. I'm serious. Don't make me do it. All I have to do is say the last word of my spell and she'll die. These tents are a little, they're sure we're not like they're entering a different dimension when we enter this. What's this all about? Don't let me tell, don't tell me what to do, bozo. Step aside before you get hurt. She's a witch. She, she'll use her magics to poison the children of this town. 
She'll butcher the livestock, and she'll seduce the young men and make them her puppets. She must be killed. And if she's going to do all that, that sounds bad. What are you talking about? Why the prejudice against a magic user? You said it yourself that you're a mage. After all, aren't you going to kill her with your magic word? Get a hold of yourself, you idiot. <laughs> Why don't we discuss this like rational beings? Just calm down and I'm sure we can come to some sane solution. Stop threatening the woman, you psycho. Step aside before you get hurt. Discuss. There is nothing to discuss. This witch will die. Now leave me or I'll smite you as well. Are you some sort of inbred hedge wizard? I really don't believe you can cast any spells at all. Come on, moron. If you're a wizard, you should be able to smite us down here where we stand. It's a fight you want, then you'll get one. Come on. We can't just let you murder a defenseless woman. Just calm down and let's talk. Um, seems odd that he's averse to a chat about this. Does he have some kind of staff? But for all I know, he's right about her. Let's try one more bit of diplomacy. Defenseless woman. She's a witch. She's dangerous and must be killed. Get away from me before I kill you all. Okay, that's it, you idiot. We've had it with you. Your theatrics. If you were, were a real mage, by now you would have blasted us to pieces. Obviously, you're nothing but a fake, a fraud, a huckster. Sorry, but we can't let you hurt the lady. We're going to have to remove you by force if need be. Um, this does seem to be a... He does seem to be jury, judge, and executioner here for this woman who's awfully quiet over here. His name is Zordral. Oh, I, we can let you hurt the lady if she's all that, that you're saying. I don't really care. Okay, that's it. You know, we've had it with your theatrics. Just, he is irritating. Yeah, let's, are you mocking me? No one mocks the great Zordral. You will pay for your insolence. Okay. All right, now, um, could use the magic resistance potion, but I think we're going to avoid that. Can we, I don't think we can, can we summon a nymph in the tent? Is she Bentha? Okay. He's also got stuff we might want. That's the other reason why he probably needs to go. Okay, what, um, let's start with Garen. What does he want to cast here? Um, he's going to. It's going to bounce all around. I can't cast Lightning Bolt. Ghost Armor. Glitter Dust. This is Scorcher. Can't cast that either. Spook. It's almost like Magic Missile is his best bet. Um, wow. Let's probably just do Magic Missile here. Okay. Um, and is everybody else? I think we need a bless, Uncle Bell. I do think we need a bless. So let's get a bless going. I'm going to try the nymph. I know it's crazy. It's just crazy. But let's try a nymph. See how it goes. Oops, didn't want to do that. Okay. Here we go. Got it. A nymph appearing? Okay, and we're blessed. Somebody, okay, he confused us. Don't run out the door and everything's going to be okay. What, um, Garen? You need... I'm confused by that... Uh... I was confused by the confusion in my party. Okay, what did the nymph hit him with? And is anybody about to die? I don't... Garen's going to cast that magic missile today, I'm sure. Okay, let's do that again, Garen. Somebody give him a good shot there. I, I think he's done. He's done, but my party is doing some... Okay, we need to... What are you doing, Uncle Bell? Are you healing somebody? I think you're going to heal somebody. Um, yes. We need to do a Dispel Magic. 
on this is Bjorn, so guess that on him. Oh, somebody beat me to it there. Alright, fine. Alright, everybody's calmed down. Let's heal up Rudrissian. That's the less spell wearing off. Let's um zoom in here. He's got some fancy garb there. Would that would that garb make um was it uh, the buffoon? Lord Binky the buffoon? Would that garb make Lord Binky happy? Make it quick. Yeah, we're we're making it quick here. Actually, you know what? Let's have Rudrissian cast the big heal on himself. See how much that got him pretty close, and then he can just do one small heal, and hopefully he's up to 100% health there. And Nymph is doing her thing. Thing. Let's see what we've got here. All right. See that? I mean, I can the, you know the. Who is it? Samuel the deserter. If I turn him over to the flaming fist, I get fifty. Got seven eighty gold pieces right there. Don't need the quarter staff. Take that. Take that, and we will take the mage robe. All right. I think that's all he has. Let's, um, let's give the mage robe to Garen so that he can identify it. And hopefully he can actually use the identify spell. Knave's robe, armor class plus one versus slashing attacks, save versus death plus one. Okay, not usable by not usable by pretty much everybody except for a saucer. A favorite among mage and thieves, the knave's robe has been enchanted to shield its wearers from the blades and poisons of any darkened ally or alley. <laughs> I thought that was saying something about uh, having a traitor in your midst there, but it's alley. As with others of its type, however, its use is restricted to students of the arcane. Okay. think I'm going to sell that. I don't think that's going to beat my adventurer's robe, which... Whoops, don't want to take that off. I want to look. Uh, save versus petrification, crushing a table. Well, you know. Adventurer's robe versus knave's robe. Mm, it's debatable. Right. Anyway. Let's give that to Rudrissian, and Rudrissian can give that back to Garen. Actually, he can give Garen, let's do this first. He can give Garen that armor scroll, and then Garen can add that to his pile, so to speak, in his inventory. There we go. And there. Now, that is, what is this again? I have a feeling color spray. Does Garen not have... No, he doesn't have any color spray. Okay, I was thinking of this one here. So, because it's got a hand on it. And that sure looks like a handprint to me, but anyway. Your wish? Now, do I talk to Big Bertha here, Bentha, first, or do I plunder? I think I plunder. Um, is he going to have traps on his shelves? See, find that. Let's have our thief yeah? what do, you want? do his job. Are there doesn't seem to be saying there are traps there. No traps there either. Okay. So let's um, break out of that and have Way him you, boss. see what we've got here. All right. More gold. Throwing dagger. Here we go with the books. Okay. He doesn't have any yes. inventory room for it. You have but to ask. Let's take the throwing dagger. Take the book. Who... Where we've got Bjorn's got inventory. Aldora says none. Looks like Bjorn, Rudrissian, and Uncle Bell. Okay. That's fine. So let's have Bjorn look at the next shelf. Right, what's this then? Water stab. Not interested. We'll take the gold. Very nice. We got like uh twice the amount of gold for turning in um uh Samuel there just by taking out a mage. All right, 
Bentha or Bertha or whatever your name is. What's your story? Yes, friend? Thank you for rescuing me. I am Bentha. And yes, you could call me a witch. Oh, good. We killed the guy and he was right. For I do use magic. However, I have no intentions of killing the livestock or seducing the young men. Zordral is an old enemy of mine, one who has caused me and my family great pain over the years. If you had not walked in at that moment, I would have been killed. Let's thank you again. Is there anything I can do to help you? Yes, stay out of our party. You're not getting in the party. You have any magic trinkets you can give us? And not crappy potions we don't need? Do you have information about the region where adventure is and would be grateful if you could give us any advice? Yeah, give us some advice here. Well, I'm not too knowledgeable about the Nashkel region, but I do know that Volothamp Gardar, Jedarm, Gedarm, is staying at the tavern in Nashkel. That man knows everything. He knows more than a mortal man should know. Interesting. Do I remember seeing him and talking to him? Okay. There goes Big Bertha. Yeah, these, um, these tents are, are interesting. To say the least. You rang. Now, the question is, is anybody going to try to arrest us for killing the carnival mage? Apparently not. I guess there weren't too many people who liked them very much. Carnival. All right, moving on to other tents. I'm on it. Suppose any tent is just as good as any other tent. All right, that is a big fat guy. All right, what weird thing are you going to do or say or attempt? I'm on it. the best prices this side of Cormier. If you've gold in your purse, you're a welcome sight in mine eyes. What do you need? Oh my God, it's a normal merchant. I don't even believe it. Okay, I don't know that I... Do you want a violin and red potion? You are mostly of the armor persuasion, I take it here. Do I want to sell him the knave's robe? Carrying so much crud that I may basically never use. Oh, damn. All right, so you're not going to buy any books. You're not... Okay. But we know where the armor is now at the carnival. I suppose... It's important for a carnival to have an armor, I suppose. Why does it feel like... Okay, so let's do... I felt like I came out a different tent there for a minute. Salted. Let's try this tent over here. This was the tent my party had trouble with. Okay, we finally made it in there. All right, it looks like, did I just walk into the same tent? This is, is this carnival getting weird or am I getting loopy? I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Trust you are enjoying the fair. Is it a fair or a carnival and what's the difference? Fine time, despite the recent shenanigans involving the mines and those pesky bandits as well. What can I get for you? It has been a lovely diversion indeed. What wares have you available? Sorry, but I've no need of anything right now. But okay, let's see. All right, so you're just a brother to the other fat armor. What, um, okay then. You will buy the knave's robe, but once again, I'm conflicted. Can I find somebody who would buy damn books off me? Can I just find a librarian, something along those lines? Okay. All right, so we have two armorers at the carnival and the chances so they've got they do have similar looking tents there's that have i been to i'm getting lost in the have i been was this the mage tent that was the mage tent let's go into this tent i think that was the mage tent right this was the wonky potion guy really We've, were you triplets or something no, there's no end to the fat merchants. I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Fine and lovely day to ye. Would you be interested in any of my fine odds and ends? I've endeavored to keep prices reasonable, even in spite of the shortages of late. No need of trinkets. Good day. Let's see what you have to offer. 
Okay, so this guy's a little more up my alley here. As far as ooh, he would buy this crap. Um I have got Actually, why didn't this is a curious question, but why didn't the other merchant come in and because the other merchant only got a hundred gold pieces off us where he could have gotten for a Okay, I'm getting rid of them because of the negative effects. I don't need a dexterity of three while my muscles are bulging. Um, yeah. Okay, you're going to buy books from me. You are going to want the books from me. I don't want the... You're not going to buy the books from me. All right, never mind then. I think that might be all I have to sell you. I could sell you the annoying scrolls that affect my party. Could do that because I'm probably not going to use them. But as soon as I sell them, I'll have a reason to use them. Yeah, no, I think we're good. What kind of, what, um, junk do you, oh, you have, you have the kind of stuff I'm looking for. Actually, this is, what is the story with this? I need this for Garen. Amulet of Protection, the Protector, the Royal Guard of King Pyronin, Ruler of Impilter. We're given the, were given, oh, the Royal Guard. Okay, okay. As in several Royal Guard. We're given the Guardsmen. We're given the Protector as an honorary show of status. Unfortunately, members of the Guard had trouble coming to a consensus amongst themselves as to whom the ambulance should go. After years of internal hostility, the item was lost and the Guards replaced by less greedy individuals. I am definitely interested in that. What uh, we have. Okay, what? So. How many charges does it have? Shield, armor class 4, plus 2 bonus versus missile, immunity to magic missile, every effect the wearer, duration 1 error, hour. Charge abilities. Does it say how many charges it has, though? The Necklace of Missiles. The one gift lost. The naming of this necklace originates from its only owner, Ikaida Morneve, who quested to regain his, regain his kidnapped daughter. Not many would help the determined father, but a kind and generous mage bestowed this item on him to aid his cause. Alas, the necklace was lost when Ikaida dropped it into the Immerflow River while fending off bandits upon a suspension bridge. Fortunately, it is rumored that the item was not needed to reunite the family once again. Missile blast blah, blah, blah. does not tell me how many charges it has. All right. I think the only top sider's crutch. Hell is that? Ring of Infravision. Top sider's crutch. Merchants that dare the risks of trading with the drow, the great rift, are often given these items to aid in their movements underground. Equipped abilities. Okay. That's interesting, but I think what I really want is I want, I don't know if Garrett does Garen. Let's look at, he needs to get some inventory room here. So let me have him give that to Adrissian. Your wish? And then he needs to buy that. I got the best prices this side of Cormier. Not the best prices, but I will take this. All right, now you have room for it in your... Why? What's the? I have a conflict here. Why? What? Why did I buy it if I 
got a what's conflicting with it. Is this conflicting with it? Really? I can't wear my cloak. Oh, come on now. I like my cloak. Why is that? Why can't I wear an amulet plus a cloak? What are they both going to combine to strangle me? Um. All right. Well, why doesn't it? I understand they're different, but why doesn't it? Oh, wouldn't have bought it if I knew that. Damn it. All right. So let's put the cloak on. Let's give this to Uncle Bell. Let's see if Uncle Bell can wear it. There we go. All right. So fine. Um, or should, since actually I should probably give it to Solinar if he can wear it. Have him give that to Garen. Let's have Uncle Bell give that. Is that saying that Solinar can't? Ah, oh, man. That isn't okay. So we're having conflicts here and there. That's that stuff should stack. Come on now. What what's up with that? All right, Redrissian. Did I who did I give? Just gave somebody a scroll that Garen. Who the heck was that? All right. I guess it doesn't matter ultimately. Yep, his inventory is full. Why is this okay? Alright. What would you have me do? I guess that was a purchase that was worth it, I guess. Right, what's this then? All right, we have the big tent, two big tents, and we've got other smaller tents. We oh, you know what? There's a section of the map really got another tent all the way over there. Let's get that tent out of the way because I want to uh, uncover this shadowed area of map anyway. Okay. Let's head up there. I don't know how it is that I didn't uncover this part of the map, but somehow I didn't. Alright, let's head into this tent here. The sort of, I don't know, the marginalized tent. The tent on the edge of the... Oh, they're still sleep. Boy, these people sleep a lot. I'm tempted to try to wake you up I'm because only. you were sleeping last night as well. Nope, you don't want to wake up. Okay. Steal your... Did somebody, like, flip you people a Mickey or something? Why are you all crashed out? Can't get into those tents. That's fine. Can we get into this? We can get Boy, into this, this tent. Head? Let's go into this tent. Rectangle as opposed to the round tents. Is this one of the tents I tried last night? Alright, I think I've been in here. I think I spoke to this. It's another armorer. They're like, I've got the best prices this side of Cormier. Hey there, you look like the adventurer type. So do you need some new equipment? My prices might seem a little steep, but with the iron shortage and all that, there ain't nothing I can do about it. Okay. Feeling I already checked out your stuff. I did. I don't think. I don't think you have anything for me. Okay. Let's try the big round tents. And then that might be all of the carnival. Sort of. So, been a, I don't know, a rousing good time here at this carnival. Of course, it's not over yet till I check all the tents, is it? You're a lucky fella, aren't you? Apparently I'm a lucky fella. Is this like the tavern of the tent? Are you the tavern keep? What's up with the big fat guys? Gamesman. And you're a commoner. Would you stop? Can I figure out what you are for a second here? Commoner. Gamesman. Gamesmen. Games. Okay, so you guys want to play some games. I don't. I mean, I. it almost looks like billiards. What is the game? Oh, this is a casino. Okay. Who is this guy? Commoner. All right, so if we want to play... 
I mean, I guess we've got to play one game while we're here, right? I guess. You're a lucky fella, aren't you? <laughs> you don't sound greasy and sleazy at all. Roll up and take a chance on the big wheel. One will get you 20 on a winning spin. So five will get me 100. Okay, we're going to bet five. So sorry, you have to try again. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, we've got like a roulette wheel there. What are... Oh, these are craps tables. Duh. Do we want to... Do we want to try the craps tables? Let's talk to this gamesman. Take your chance with Lady Timora. With Lady Timora? A toss of the bones to make your fortune. Double your money on a winning roll. Yeah, the odds and craps are supposed to be better. Lady looks away and you lose. Sorry, next. Okay, this is... Um, if there is something I could do to increase my chances, I might continue. Okay, so we got swindled out of like 10 gold pieces. Typical in a carnival casino, I suppose. All right, one more... One more tent, which Sorted. I'm having trouble finding. That almost looked like they're... Okay, never mind. Hello, pal. Really? Viter, or Vitier, however you say that. Good day. Consider yourself victimized by Vitier, the master thief and pickpocket extraordinaire. No time to chat. All right, did he just... What did he take from me? He took something from me, I guess. Did he take money from me? Did he take... An item from me. Might have taken something from Solinar. Um, didn't, didn't take anything off our persons. So does it, did it tell me? Oh, we lost a hundred gold. <laughs> I am going to start uh, genociding this entire carnival. Now it's starting to irritate me. Okay, so... These are just more, I'd refer, I prefer that he takes my gold as opposed to my items that I need. Noblewoman, nobleman, gamesman, commoner. Okay, so there's nobody here to actually talk to as a gamesman. All right, this carnival all in all was uh, probably a wash. I don't know that I really needed... What's up with the jousting oh, thingies over here? Are we going to see an actual joust? And do you like bet on the joust or something? Or are they... How do you know, how do you know when the jousting is going to occur? All right. Well, that's the carnival. So I suppose we really have nowhere else to go besides the mines. Um, I mean, like I said, I could head up here um and think about Olga's beard but I, I got this weird feeling we're not supposed to be up there yet all right let's um let's get moving and head to the mines here with uh i don't know um a few less gold pieces but maybe not as bad as it could have been you know journal updated enter the nashkel mines I've arrived at the impressive pit. Got to learn to read faster, huh? Where does it journal updated? It's so it was. Where the heck? Oh, it's under important events. Who knew? All right. Enter the Nashkel Mines. I have arrived at the impressive pit known as the Nashkel Mines. And people seem to be on edge. I should speak with the owner of the mines for permi permission before attempting to enter. I thought the mayor of Nashkel wanted me to enter. All right, so I'm kind of in the mining town right now. Uh, and I have to find the owner of the mines. Do we know? Is there a sign out here? I think before I start going into places, I need to just kind of uncover the area here and see what I'm dealing with as far as, you know, surrounding regions, so to speak. 
And the other thing I should try is exiting different parts of the map here. See what does or does not get uncovered. Okay, so nothing gets uncovered. Going out the east end. Let's try the north end. I don't expect anything to get uncovered going out this way, but you never know. All right. More traveling within this area of map. What have we here? Ghasts. All right. Not good. Um, and I haven't really rested... Let's get the whole party on them. Let's get Garen shooting his... Oh, he doesn't have any magic missiles. Let's try... Tell you what. Let's get... Who is this? Dandal. Could you help us with these creepy ghoulies here? Um, Lightning Bolt's probably a bad idea. Probably. Ghost Armor... Our word sleep. Let's try glitter dust on one, I guess. Um, Uncle Bell, we definitely need a bless. Because they're ghasts. And I don't think Rudrissian has much for us. Charm person or mammal. We try entangling them. But he's just going to entangle us. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, he is going to help. Really? You there, stop! What? 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 We're fighting guests. What do you want to... you want us to stop fighting? Sorry to bother you, but you should be aware of the danger you're in right now. There are monsters that you think? Dog-headed ones. I'd advise that you return to Nashville where it's safe. Yeah, thanks. Um, could you just help instead of criticize? Actually, we're adventurers. We're here to help out. Perhaps you could tell us what's going on in the area while we're under attack. We could sure use some more fighting men. If you want to know where to go, just go to the northwest. Up there is the mines. Emerson may tell you that he don't need any adventurers. He's going to need help with his grammar. But you don't listen to him. We need as many men as we can get. Anything else? Well, yeah, there's this crazy guy. I think he calls himself Prism. He's been making a sculpture in a cliffside. Kind of a kook, if you ask me. I'll see you later then, yeah. Whatever you do, don't help out, though. Garen, what are you doing? I want you back up there. Thank you. All right. Um. So it looks like Eldorus is held. What is the effect on him? He is held. Because of course he is. Okay. Um, Garen. What is my wish? My wish is for you... I think you're going to have to get into Scorcher position. That's what I think. So, why don't you walk over here? Why is... Oh, you are... Okay, you are attacking. I thought you weren't attacking for a minute there. Alright, Garrett, perfect time for a Scorcher. Premier Scorcher time. Nicely done. Yes, you do. Okay, uh, Garen, don't do it. Just walk back over there. Stop doing things that make me nervous. Alright, so we have to wait for Eldorus's held to fill. And uh, it looks like Rudrissian is held as well. Okay, what do we got here? We've got... Oops, let's Go have Buren pick this up. Alright, so it looks like one had a ring and one had some gold. Let's start healing. And I think we're going to have to rest before we um, do any more exploring. Yes. Uh oh. Are these winter wolves? What are these? They are winter wolves. Okay. Means we'll get some pelts. We don't die. Get everybody on them. Garen, that would be everybody except you. They are really doing a number on Solinar. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Let's get him uh, out of the way there. Garrett, you would think... You no, that's not... Uh, you would think a nice Scorcher on that one. 
Good. Solnar? No, Solnar is attacking. Okay. Garen, I want you to walk over here. Get the other one. And then I want you to walk over there to get that one that keeps hitting our party. Alright, no, you're not going to you're not gonna do the thing. You think you're gonna do the thing, but you're not gonna do the thing. Actually, you're getting chased by the thing. We are getting banged up by these things. No wonder their pelts are so expensive. Alright, let's try another scorcher on him. Right, don't walk into the scorcher, you bozos. Whatever you do. Oh, Garen, don't do it. Just stay right there. Alright, we've got an eagle or something that looked like another wolf coming. Alright. Now, Sorted. got some pelts, right? Oops. Got some pelts to pick up. I hope. Yes, we do. Alright, now resting is an extreme imperative along with healing. Alright, we've had to rest twice to get our spell points back, what which hopefully are fully oh. restored here, right? Okay, good. Not the best area in all of the Sword Coast to be resting. Why does this tree seem... Okay. Alright, we're going to continue to explore here. I'm on it. And run right into regular wolves. Alright, I don't think we need any magic for this. Let's give them a right Except maybe Garen not getting attacked by these things, maybe? Right, we doing the... Wolfies, please. Without getting banged up. Alright, nicely done. My party is in, after resting twice, is in tip top shape. That is very nice to see. And we've got what is probably going to be a highly dangerous area to explore here. So it's a good sign that they're up for the exploration.